good morning students welcome in the online classes of science in rbs group of school explanation of chapter microorganisms and have also discussed the question answers given in the back exercises of this chapter today we will discuss some question answers which are referred from ncert exemplar let's start with mcq type questions first which of the following reproduces only inside a host cell bacteria virus amoeba or fungus the answer is b virus virus is a microorganism which is in an inactive or dead form outside the body of a host it reproduces or replicates only when it enters a host and reaches its cells Question number two: A disease in human beings caused by virus is typhoid, influenza, dysentery, or cholera. Here the answer is B, influenza. Influenza is an infectious disease caused by the influenza virus. It is also known as flu, whose symptoms include high fever, running nose, sore throat. headache coughing and muscle pain typhoid dysentery and cholera are bacterial infections question number 3 pathogenic microorganisms present in host cells are killed by painkillers antibodies antibiotics or vaccines the correct answer is antibiotics these are substances that may inhibit or kill the growth of different microbes microorganisms causing infection in host bodies are killed by consumption of these antibiotics fourth question the two microorganisms which live in symbiotic association in lichens are fungus and protozoa alga and bacteria bacteria and protozoa alga and fungus the correct answer is alga and fungus lichens is an association between a fungal and an algal species it is mutually benefited association where algae provides food to the fungus and in return gets shelter water and minerals from it question number 5 the gas released during the preparation of bread is oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen or sulfur dioxide the correct answer is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is released during the preparation of bread this is the process of fermentation in which yeast cells rapidly produces carbon dioxide which causes rising of the dough used in preparation of bread question number 6 the disease caused by a protozoan and spread by an insect is dengue malaria polio or measles here the correct answer is malaria malaria is the disease which is caused by the spread of a protozoan called plasmodium it is spread in healthy individuals by the bite of a female anopheles mosquito carrying this plasmodium in their mouth or saliva question number 7 pahili dug two pits a and b in her garden in pit a she put a polythene bag packed with some agricultural waste in pit b she dumped the same kind of waste but without packing it in a polythene bag she then covered both the pits with soil what did she observe after a month a waste in pit a degraded faster than that in pit b waste in pit b degraded faster than that in pit a waste in both the pits degraded almost equally waste in both pits did not degrade at all here the correct answer is b 
waste in pit B degraded faster than that in pit A. Waste in pit B degraded faster than that in pit A because packet B was kept open so the microbes can get in and help in the decomposition of waste materials easily. In case of packet A, since it was sealed, microorganisms could not enter and thus microbial degradation did not occur. Now come to very short answer type questions. Suggest a suitable word for each of the following statements. The first one is chemicals added to food to prevent growth of microorganisms. The answer is preservatives. Preservatives are the chemicals added in food. They prevent microbial infection without altering the taste or appearance. Nitrogen fixing microorganism present in the root nodules of legumes. Here the answer is rhizobium are the nitrogen fixing bacteria which fix the atmospheric nitrogen in that form which is usable for plants. The C question, agent which spreads pathogens from one place to another. The answer is carrier or vector. These are the modes of transmission of a disease. D, chemicals which kill or stop the growth of pathogens. The answer is antibiotics, which are antimicrobial agents for inhibiting or killing the growth of microbes. Question number nine. Unscramble the jumbled words underlined in the following statements. Cells of our body produce dash to fight pathogens. Here, if you unscramble it, you will find the answer is antibodies. Cells of our body produce antibodies to fight pathogens. B. Dash is an airborne disease caused by bacterium. Again, if you unscramble it, you will find the answer tuberculosis. Here, tuberculosis is an airborne disease caused by bacterium. C. Dash is a dangerous bacterial disease. Here the answer is anthrax. Anthrax is a dangerous bacterial disease. D. Yeasts are used in the wine industry because of their property of dash. Here the answer is fermentation. Yeasts are used in the wine industry because of their property of following fermentation. Now move to very short answer type questions. Name one commercial use of yeast. The answer is yeast are used in bakeries and breweries. Name the process in yeast that converts sugars into alcohol. The name of the process is fermentation. Question number 12. In the soil, which nutrient is enriched by blue-green algae or cyanobacteria? Nitrogen is a nutrient which is enriched by cyanobacteria. Why should we avoid standing close to a tuberculosis patient while he or she is coughing? The answer is Tuberculosis is an airborne disease which easily spreads when the infected person coughs. Now let's move to short answer type questions. Polio drops are not given to children suffering from diarrhea. Why? The answer is if the child is suffering from diarrhea, the orally given vaccine may be excreted out because of frequent motions. Thus, the child becomes susceptible to polio as the vaccine becomes ineffective to fight against invading pathogen. Question number 15. Paheli watched her grandmother making mango pickle. After, after she bottled the pickle, her grandmother poured oil on top of the pickle before closing the lid. 
Pahili wanted to know why oil was poured. Can you help her understand why? The answer is oil prevents bacterial form attacking the pickle and spoiling it. The oil forms a layer which becomes the barrier between the pickle and the air. Next question. Classify the following into friendly and harmful microorganisms. Yeast, malarial parasite, lactobacillus, bread molds, rhizobium, bacillus anthracis are some of the microorganisms given here. Out of this, the friendly microorganisms are yeast, lactobacillus and rhizobium. Whereas the harmful microorganisms are malarial parasite, bread mold and bacillus anthracis. Question number 17. While returning from the school, Bujo ate chat from a street hawker. When he reached home, he felt ill and complained of stomach ache. What could be the reason? The answer is, the probable reason is that the chat was contaminated by pathogenic microbes due to unhygienic condition near the shop or the utensil used for serving could be contaminated. Question number 18. What will happen to puris and unused kneaded flour if they are left in the open for a day or two? The unused kneaded flour, if left in warm conditions, gets infected by microbes which cause fermentation and spoils the flour. The puris would remain in the relatively good condition because they were deep fried in heated oil that killed the microbes. Name two diseases that are caused by virus. The answer is polio, chickenpox, influenza are some diseases which are caused by virus. Write one important characteristic of virus. Virus can reproduce only inside the cells of the host. Let's move to question number 19. Observe the setup given in figure and answer the following questions. What happens to the sugar solution in A? The answer is yeast causes fermentation converting sugar solute sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Which gas is released in A? Carbon dioxide is released in A. What changes will you observe in B when the released gas passes through it? Here, carbon dioxide passes into B and it changes lime water into calcium carbonate and it the lime water turns milky. Question number 20. Observe the figure and answer the following questions. Name the microorganism and the group to which it belongs. The answer is, it is bread mold, a type of fungus. Question B. Name the food item on which the organism grows. It grows on moist and stale bread. Question number C. Does it grow well in dry or in moist conditions? The answer is it grows well in the moist climates or moist conditions. Question number D. Is it safe to eat infected bread? Answer is no. The fungus spoils the bread by producing poisonous substances. Let's move to the questions like give reasons for the following. Fresh milk is boiled before consumption while processed milk stored in packets can be consumed without boiling. The reason to it is fresh milk is boiled before consumption to kill the microorganisms that can be present in it. But packed milk is already pasteurized and does not contain any microorganisms. Thus, it can be consumed without boiling. Raw vegetables and fruits are kept in refrigerators whereas jams and pickles can be kept outside. 
The reason is raw vegetables and fruits are infected easily by microorganisms and get spoiled. Thus, they are kept in refrigerators as low temperatures inhibits the growth of microbes. Jams and pickles contain salt and sugar as preservatives, thus they do not get infected easily. Farmers prefer to grow beans and peas in nitrogen deficient soils. Beans and peas are leguminous plants and have rhizobium in their root nodules. These bacteria can fix atmospheric nitrogen to enrich the soil with nitrogen and increase its fertility. Mosquitoes can be controlled by preventing stagnation of water though they do not live in water. Why? Though mosquitoes live on land, their larvae grow in water. If water stagnation is prevented, the larvae cannot survive. With this, we end up this module. Thank you very much students. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.